Hi folks, this is Lee Geddes in the Market Sense for the week of uh, December 18th, 2018. The charts in this presentation are given to us by the Trade Navigator software. And we're going to look at weekly bonds here. I'd just like to point out uh, next week's Christmas, the week after is for the New Year's. So we will not be together again until January the 8th. I know you'll miss me, but I'm sure you'll find something better to do. Now looking at uh, the bond market here, we had this nice breakout a week or so ago, two weeks ago really, and then last week consolidated, which is pretty much just like we expected it to do. And I think the smart thing to do is to consider this sort of a setup for a potential breakout. Doesn't mean they will, they could consolidate further. But we're kind of looking for a move either below 141.22 here or up here well above 144. 44 and a half would be even better. There's a big problem. I, I'm, you know, I'm looking at those that support and resistance as potential breakouts, not support and resistance. But we also have this incredible wild card of the Federal Reserve meeting and the potential for them to do something to interest rates Wednesday afternoon. This is much more complicated than normal because we have market volatility in stocks that are the Fed has been very hesitant over the years to do anything to interest rates when the market is like that, certainly not raise them. But you have a president who, in the, for the first time in history, is literally telling the Fed what to do, and the Fed wants to appear autonomous, so they probably will raise, even though the president tells them not to. It's just a very complicated situation. So while breakouts above 144.16 or below 141.22 are the correct analysis for this, it's really shaky. Uh, it's, it's an unprecedented situation, so I'm not real excited about any of it, but that's the way I'm looking at it anyway. Stocks, uh, boy, quite a different situation and potentially quite ominous. After this big outside week we had here a couple weeks ago, last week turned and started up pretty substantially and looked rather healthy, actually. But, as you can see, they did not quite make it to this middle moving average, which was the likely target once they started up. And not only did they not make it there, but they then turned and took out the lows and even closed below the previous swing low. Now, that certainly could be just a marginal new low and some exhaustion, but it, it looked a little scary. And this week, we have held exactly at the resistance that would continue a trend lower. This resistance is, uh, I think, 26.16, and the high is 26.16 and three quarters. So, yeah, that's holding pretty good. They have blown down through the 25.60 support, and... Uh, Gosh, I can find more support, but it's below 24 even. Uh, not a very pretty situation here. Now, as mentioned in the bond report, we've got a Federal Reserve that could do almost anything Wednesday. And what they do may not be as important as what they say in their statement afterwards. I'm not going to tell you that they can't just turn around out of nowhere here, because they certainly can. The Federal Reserve is exactly the type of organization that could create that move. But at this point, they don't look like they want to go up at all. They look incredibly heavy and uh, you know, a little scary, to be honest with you. Um, if they don't get back above this high here, and I said 20, this is 2616, as again, I think 16 and three quarters is the high of the week so far. If they don't take that out uh, and start up, wow, this, this could get exceedingly ugly just in case you don't think it is already. Uh, I wish it wasn't such a wild card because of the Federal Reserve on Wednesday, but it is. And then we have the pre holiday trading, which, you know, they tend to go up a little around the Christmas time, but they don't have to. And I certainly wouldn't base a seasonal tendency, make that the, the basis of my decision making because they really look kind of ugly right now. So uh, I'm afraid that's all we've got for you today. I hope you uh, at least can avoid trouble over